kids. This is your friend Hopalong Cassidy. If you just call me Hoppy. If you look on page one in your picture book, you'll see a real picture of me and my horse Topper. Well, kids, I'd like to tell you a story about something that happened to me a long time ago. If you want to see it all as we go along, you just turn the page in your book whenever you hear Topper whinny, like this. <laughs> now you should be on page two. But before I get on with my story, I want you to meet some friends of mine. That old codger there is known as California. Yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I don't know how Hoppy could get along without me. You see, I'm pretty much the cook and the housekeeper for Hoppy, and, well, occasionally I, uh, <laughs> I help Hoppy out of a tight spot or two, and I can make the dog <laughs> on the show. <laughs> uh? Yes, sir, California's a real pal. And then there's Lucky. <laughs> if you turn the page, you can see a real picture of him. Lucky is the youngest one of us. He's no great singer, but occasionally he'll sing a little song to me. There's a man you've seen on the television screen Who's the kind I'd like to be He can ride and shoot and is plenty smart to boot That's Hop Along Cassidy I am full of pride when he's riding by my side Or he spends his time with me He will be my friend until the very end That's Hop Along Cassidy for I am just a cowboy with neither aim nor goal. I need a pal to lean up on to teach me right from wrong. Oh, he has a mind both strong and kind, and I guess that I must be such a lucky guy with a friend as fine as Hop Along Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were three good friends. And as I was saying, we were riding the trail one day when all of a sudden we heard a strange sound. <laughs> and off in the distance, we could hear horses speeding away. It seemed rather strange to us at the time, but we rode on into the next town without thinking too much more about it. However, when we got there, we found the townspeople all excited. <laughs> Pardon me, mister, but what's all the excitement about? What's it about? Why, the bank's been robbed. That's what it's about. Who did it? What did they look like? Look like? Nobody knows. They all wore masks. And the leader called his men by singing to them. Singing to them? Lucky, remember when we heard... Sure I do, Hoppy. Say, mister, did the leader sing like this? <laughs> That's it. Say, where did you fellas come from? Hey, I think maybe you're the robbers come back without your masks. They're the ones. Grab them. Wait a minute. You're making a mistake. Take it easy. Well, we couldn't make them believe we weren't the bandits. And they locked all three of us up in the town jail. <laughs> Well, we're sure in a pickle, Hoppy. What do we do now? Quiet, California. What is it, Hoppy? I thought I heard Topper. So what? What good can your horse do us now? Well, the only way to prove we're not the bandits ourselves is to catch the real bandits. Well, how will this Sam Hill community do that? Locked up in this here jail. That's what I meant about Topper. Watch. <whistles> Come on, Topper. That's the boy. <whistles> Now I'll reach through the bars, get my rope off Topper's saddle, tie it to the bars on this window, and... Come on, Topper! Come on! <laughs> Hoppy, Topper pulled the bars right out of the window. Oh, gone it, Hoppy. I knowed all the time what you was up to. <laughs> well, let me out of here. Not so fast, California. You're staying here. Sure. Uh, uh, you mean I ain't... Never mind, with you? California. Well, I want these people to know we're not running away. In the morning, tell them we'll be back with the real bandits as soon as we catch them. And you stay behind to show them we're on the level. What about me, Hoppy? I'll need you, Lucky. You come with me. Gosh darn it. Why do I always have to get a washed up every day? <laughs> you can't sing, California. Uh, see? Uh, what's that got to do with catching the bandits? <laughs> All right, Lucky. Through the window and let's get on our horses and be on our way. Well, 
Well, this seems to be about the spot where we heard those men yesterday. But what do we do now? There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Shh. Listen. Over there behind that rock. Sounds like two men talking. Let's sneak up on them. There they are down below. But there are only two. The leader must be off someplace. Listen, I have an idea. What's your idea, Hoppy? If we try to take these two now, there's apt to be some shooting. I don't want to scare off their leader. He must be nearby someplace. I want you to put this handkerchief around your face so you'll look like the masked bandit. Then sing that call like we heard yesterday and start riding. I have an idea those two will put on their mask and follow you and lead them right into town and turn them over to the sheriff. Yeah, but what about you, Hoppy? I'm going to wait here for their leader. Now get going. Well, here goes. Hello! Well, the plan worked all right. Now to hide myself behind this rock and wait for the... Put up your hand. All right, wise guy. Now, supposing you tell me just what you think you're up to before I fill you full of lead. So you're the leader of this little group, huh? Guess you were closer by than I figured. Stay where you are. Don't move any closer. Just as you say, mister. Only I don't like people who point guns at me, so... Uh, my gun! You kicked it right out of my hand. Right. Now, let's see how tough you are without it. Why, you... Uh, I'll kill you with my bare hands. <laughs> Don't hit me anymore. I've had enough. I give up. All right. Get on your feet while I tie your hands. Now climb on your horse and start into town. Don't try any funny business because I'll have my gun handy. Well, we walked our horses all the way into town bandit with his hands tied and me leading his horse to the reins. As we pulled in the main street, I saw that everyone was crowded around someone, making a big fuss. As we got closer, I saw that it was Lucky. It didn't take me long to find out that he had led those bandits right into jail. California had been released and Lucky was quite the hero. As I pulled up alongside with the leader of the bandits, the town folk let out with a big cheer. Sheriff, here's the leader of the group. Better lock him up with the other two. Mr. Cassidy, I want to apologize for thinking you and your friends were the bandits. And in behalf of the whole town, I want to thank you for bringing the real ones in. They had the money on them, too, and it's all been returned to the bank where it belonged. No trouble at all, Sheriff. And now, if you'll excuse us, my friends and I will be hitting the trail. Ready, Lucky? Yep. California? <laughs> Ready? You bet I'm ready. While you and Lucky was out being heroes, I was a sitting there in that jail. It was cold last night when them bars pulled out. The wind came a whistling through, and, and I think I, I think I caught a cold. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> There's a man you've seen on the television screen Who's the kind I'd like to be He can ride and shoot and is plenty smart to boot That's Hopalong Cassidy I am full of pride when he's riding by my side Or he'll spend his time with me 
He will be my friend until the very end. That's Hop Along Cassidy. For I am just a cowboy with neither aim nor goal. I need a pal to lean up on to teach me right from wrong. Oh, he has a mind both strong and kind, and I guess that I must be. Such a lucky guy with a friend as fine as Hopalong Cassidy.